Welcome to Begin IT Career Online Trainings. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the Oracle Certified Professional Java SE 7 Programmer. Uh, as you may be knowing, the Java has basically three versions. That is the Java SE, that is the Standard Edition, Java EE, Java Enterprise Edition, Java ME, that is the Java Micro Edition. Today we are going to see the Java SE, that is the Standard Edition, which is the prominent of all the three. The minimum qualifications for this exam are you are supposed to have at least one to two years of real time hands on experience on programming Java and a clear insight on the Java applications such as those that manipulate files, directories and file systems and also very strong foundation on the core Java concepts. Um, let us see why we need the Oracle certification. Having an Oracle certification under your belt will enable you to set yourself apart from other IT specialists and it is a definite plus for your resume. So this will help you to get the basic concepts and uh, keen understanding on all the stuff. Let us get into the exam details. Uh, for this certification basically you need to pass two exams. Uh, that the first one is the Java SE 7 Programmer 1 and the second one is the Java SE 7 Programmer 2. Upon the completion of Programmer 1 exam, you will be given the Oracle Certified Associate title. And upon the successful completion of the Java SE 7 Programmer 2 exam, you will be given Oracle Certified Professional title. Uh, the first Programmer 1 exam uh, the exam details are the number of items I mean the number of questions you will be having is 70 all of them are multiple choice and the exam time is 2 hours and the passing score is 63% uh, that is more than 44 questions uh, you have to answer them right and the syllabus for this exam are Java basics uh, which deals with uh, Java inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation, um, the basic concepts, working with Java data types, namely string, double, uh, integer, like that, using operators and decision constructs, uh, like the conditional operator, if, if condition, uh, like that, uh, creating and using arrays, like uh, single dimensional array, multi dimensional arrays, how do we save them, uh, read them, etc. Using loop constructs like the while loop, do while loop, etc. Working with methods and encapsulation which deals with method overriding, method overloading, etc. Working with inheritance um, like the superclass and subclass concepts and handling exceptions, the try catch blocks. Coming to the Java SE 7 Programmer 2 exam, this will be having 90 questions, all of them are multiple choice and the exam time is 150 minutes and uh, the passing score is 65%. And the syllabus for this exam is uh, the Java class design, advanced class design, object oriented uh, concepts, generics and collections the, like uh, the map interface etc. The string processing, as uh, it is an immutable class, uh, questions on that. Uh, expectations and exceptions and assertions. Java I/O fundamentals. Uh, Java file I/O like uh, how do you read for, read from a file? How do you write into a file? The file input stream, output stream, like that. Building database applications with JDBC. Uh, like you'll be getting questions on how you connect to the database and how you manage the database uh, querying and uh, stuff like that uh, threads concurrency and localization uh, which deals with the multi threading concepts etc uh, the following are the recommended readings uh, for this exam the oracle certified associate java sc7 programmer 1 study guide uh, this is for the programmer level 1 exam for the associate programming uh, the OCA, OCP Java SC7 Programmer 1 and 2 Study Guide by Kethi Sierra. This uh, book is for both the exams and the complete reference of Java 
a beginner's guide these are the recommended readings and the exam providers the oracle university pro provides this exam and for registering this exam you need to go to this this website pearsonview.com uh, let me show you the website this is the website pearsonview.com slash oracle here you need to register and create an account on clicking on this link you need to submit all your details and then you will be uh, getting an email uh, with all your details then you need to schedule for the exam ok this is the process for registration and the exam fees is $245 for each exam um, if you have any other questions you, have, you can contact us at begin IT career online trainings or you can drop us an email at contact at begin itcareer.com thank you